All right, let's talk about EG4 batteries and setting the address by the dip switches. So up here are the dip switches and above it you'll notice I've got a piece of tape. On there I've gotten some numbers written. <clears throat> These are the potential values of the dip switches. So on this particular battery, going from left to right, the values double with each switch. So 1, 2, double of 2 is 4, double of 4 is 8, 16, 32. I say potential values because if the switch is in the off position, it does not contribute to the math problem. If they're on, the value gets added. We're going to use the price is right rules <clears throat> to figure out where uh, which switches need to be down or on. <clears throat> So let's assume we want this battery to be number 37. I would love to have 37 batteries, but I don't. I have four. This, when we're done with this, this, batter, uh, this battery will be set for three. But 37, using the price is right rules, you'll see the closest without going over is 32. So we'll turn that switch on and do some math. 37 minus 32 is 5. All right. <clears throat> price is right rules. The closest without going over to 5 is 4. You'll see that's the third switch over. So we'll turn that one on. That leaves us with 5 minus 4 is 1, which is that first value, that first switch. We'll set that one on. So 32 plus 4 plus 1, 37. All right, so now that that's done, we're going to take this guy. We're going to set all those switches back to the off position. We're going to turn the first two on. I mentioned I want this to be battery three. So two plus one is three. So those first two will be down. The rest will be up. And if I turn the BMS on, <clears throat> you'll notice right there the second box down shows like a little GPS symbol with the number three. That is battery ID three.